Hey guys, I'm doing this video for Paige, and I'm going to show you her coming home clothes. And they do already have the tags off of them, but I can assure you, they are new. So, to start it out with a baby, I mean, you're going to want a baby, obviously. And you're going to want under onesies. I would suggest getting a pack. Now, you can get them looking like this, that are really cute. And these are newborn, because Paige is only 17 inches. Um, and, you know, they're just really cute. Just little onesies. And they come in packs of different colors, I think. Or you can get them like this, that are long sleeved. I would suggest getting some of each. Um, I have these that go with all of my babies. I did not get these specifically for her, but I would suggest getting them, especially if you don't have them. They are handy to have with all babies. Um, and these are really like stretchy. I think, yeah, Gerber makes them. And I really love Gerber clothes because they're like, this is newborn, but yet it, it fits my preemies in three months too. Um, yeah, and like I said, even if this is like your ninth reborn, let's say, um, it's always handy to have these, and I love them. I, Connor, no, yeah, Connor has one on right now. I will show you. See? And he is preemie, and look how well they fit him. Um, I wouldn't say that he's preemie newborn. And I'm not going to bother putting these back on him right now. He's fine just the way he is. But look at how handsome he is. And I'll show you again. Twinsies. Aren't they cute? Yes. They are so cute. You cannot deny it. Okay, so yeah, you're going to want some under onesies. And then you're going to want to get your baby some pajamas. Now these are newborn and these fit a standard size baby. These fit like 20, 22 inches maybe. I was born 21 inches and I wore newborn. Um, but these fit all the way up to my three month old, but I'm not how, sure how long she is. So yeah, you're gonna probably want footy pajamas. Um, Cause you know, a newborn like that, you know, during the summer they just sleep in a onesie. But these are great for winter. They are super comfy. Um, but just make sure, you know, you got the right size. And don't, make sure they're thicker. The thin ones um, tend to rip. So be careful with that. So yeah, you're going to want under onesies, pajamas, and diapers. Now, this these diapers fit Connor too, so I didn't buy these for her either. These are newborn. I don't know if you can see that. N. And these are newborn and they have little hearts going up the back. And they do have somewhat of an elastic waist right in here. Um, you can't really see it. But they do have somewhat of an elastic E to them. Um, and here. Stretches. And with reborns, you don't need to throw these away once you use them. Fold them back together. Put them back in the drawer. You will be spending crazy amounts of money. This is a doll. It does not pee or poop. Now you can get ones that do that. Then you're going to want to throw them away. But if you don't, you don't need to throw these away. Um, and these do have the leg guards. Or the leak guards, I guess you call them. And yeah, these are just size newborn. And I find they fit only about up to 17 20 inches after that you're going to want a size one and so on and you're going to want you know just a standard like 50 pack i like to use parents choice or kidget um both are really good brands and they're not super expensive they have really cute diapers too okay so next you're going to want more onesies but this time you're going to want outer onesies that have cute stuff on them like this one has a little bow and little doggies see mommy and baby dog bulldogs um, and then it's like trimmed with pink I don't know if you guys can see that yeah it's like got pink trim on it um, 
and this is newborn and it will fit her and make sure you check if they have three-fourths limbs or full limbs or half limbs or one-fourth limbs I think um because if they have like one-fourth limbs you're probably not gonna want that doll because that's only to here so that means short sleeve onesies are going to be showing cloth all the way up to here. And Paige is just like Connor. She has full legs and three-fourths arms. So this will work nicely on her. So yeah, yeah you're going to want, like, and you can get as many of these as you want. Um, if you go to Walmart, you can find them in an aisle that has, like, um, Socks and the shoes in it and stuff for the babies. That's where I got that one at anyway. And then you're going to want um, a long sleeve onesie. This is also newborn. This is Carter's. It's got a little penguin on it. It's got a Christmas gift. Um, and it's also trimmed with pink. And this one has a really cool feature. It's got that snap on it. If your baby is wearing a wig and isn't hand-rooted hair, or micro-rooted, or anything like that, if it has a wig, these are going to be much easier. Bailey, I accidentally, uh, dressing her, took the wig off of her on accident. Um, so yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a long sleeve onesie. Um, and these are great. You know, you can put these under something if they have, like, solid color arms. And you can put something, a cute shirt over it, even. You know, stuff like that. And then you're going to want pants. And these aren't the only pair of pants I have, but they are the only ones I could locate this very minute. So these are the little pants. These are, I don't know, the tags are cut off out of them. These were consignment. I think they're size newborn, though. They're pretty small. But I know they're not preemie. So yeah, I'm going to say newborn. And guess what's on the butt? A butterfly! Um, so she'll be super happy about that. She loves butterflies. I know from the first time I got her. Um, so yeah, these are really adorable. And you're going to want a hat. Now, I don't have any hats for her yet. I haven't been shopping for them. But this is Connor's hat. And she can wear it too because it's a little bear. Um, so yeah, just a simple hat is always good. Then you're going to want a jacket or a sweatshirt for your baby. This is a preemie one. And I this isn't actually only it. It's these little purple pants with it. And this is Precious Moments. Made by Precious Moments. Um, yeah, just made by Precious Moments. And it's got a zipper and stuff. It's just going to want something warm, and it says, Precious Moments, and, like, that can go both ways. Um, duh, it says Precious Moments. And it's got a Precious Moments girl on it with a deer, feeding a deer. So that's really cute. And then it's got little flowers down the pant leg. I'll show you that a little better. So yeah, that's what to, you're going to need when expecting. Um, oh, one more thing, guys. Let me get up and grab it. Socks. You're going to want a little pair of socks. Just like that. These are also Connors, but they're gender neutral. Um, and you're, prob you're gonna want some place for your baby to sleep if you don't plan on sleeping with her every night. Um, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see, oops, sorry. You can see this behind me. I have a pack and play, and I will probably sleep with her. And also to my other side, I've got a cradle. And in my closet, I have another little cradle. Um, and I'm not sure where she's gonna sleep yet, but I probably will cuddle her. Um, other people use, like, baskets. That's great if you're getting a smaller baby. If you're getting a bigger baby, you're probably going to want a different place to sleep. Or to have her sleep. 
I mean, you can buy cribs if you want to. Like, I'm going to turn you around real quick, and I'll show you what I have. I don't know, you're going to be able to see this. I have a baby bouncer. Um, and it's just like a simple gender-neutral bouncer that I can put babies into sleep. You can have them sleep in their car seat if you buy a car seat. And go consignment, thrift stores, you know, places like that. They have stuff that is cheap. They have sales a lot. Um, I'll name some. There's the Salvation Army. There's uh, My Little Blessings. Angel Kitties. I think Angel Kitties just got bought out, though. The Attic. Um, Main Street. There's, you know, you gotta have a thrift store in your town. Ebbs. I know Ebbs is a worldwide one, I think. You know, you got, you have to have a consignment shop in your area. There's Salvation Armies everywhere, you know, places like that. Um, so yeah, this is what to expect when you're expecting your Reborn. And I'm going to warn you, you're never going to want to put your Reborn down, but um, you're going to have to. <laughs> Alright guys, bye.